Oh, hello. Right, okay, so I have literally just finished a podcast for Dream Machine, starring Corey Ham. Coming soon over her dead body. Right, so as I was doing this podcast, um, Dream Machines appeared throughout my channel for a long time. Um, and if you can check out, you'll probably, I'll be able to tell you in a second. So I got this one as job lots. This is the first independent video. Just rewound it as you see in there. So that's the original cover. Dream Machine. Corey Haim sitting on um, a Porsche. Uh, this is meant to be Robin, the character from the film. She doesn't have blonde hair. Um, so yeah, perfect girl. So perfect car, perfect girl, perfect murder, almost. Corey Haim, Dream Machine. First independent video on the side. It's got a bit of a cash shot. On the back is what I was bitching about on the podcast. So you can see there, this fucking really bad Photoshop. I've never, 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 never noticed that. They really chopped off into a head. So it's really bad. Can you see that? How bad that looks? Can you see how bad that looks? It's really bad. That is really bad. Now I've got this one um, as a job lot. I say I've never physically seen this to buy at any point or even rent in the UK. And it wasn't until I was in New Zealand in 1996 that in United Video I actually seen. Now I need to stand up and grab a few things. All right, I've got my pajamas still on. Come on, we're in lockdown. I'm still talking. Here we go. I'm just going to rant away. More content for the channel. Sit back down. Hello. Ow. As I say, if you check it out uh, earlier on this year, before the lockdown, or this first lock, second lockdown, I got this for my birthday. This went all the way around the world twice. Very interesting that it's Fox Home Video. So, do Walt Disney technically own this? Now, this has seen better days. It's not come from a smoke free home. And this could have actually be in one of the Much Awaker fires. A lot of the Much Awakers. Oh my dear God. What the fuck was all that? Stamps. Oh, it's the stamps. I kept the stamps. So yeah, as I say, uh, drive me crazy. 20th Century Fox on that one. Uh, big ass tape. Someone's not rewound that. I just remember that as a kid. Finally watching Dream Machine. Uh, the box is totally different on this one. As I say, Corey Haim is back behind the wheel. Um, Corey Haim's name is right across the top. Same girl, same Porsche. Uh, perfect girl, perfect murder, perfect murder. Dun, 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 almost. I love the font they went for on that from blue and bold on that but again on that one there it's nice and pink and as I say I never thought I would physically own that version of it because that's the first version I ever seen of it so I was really happy to get a hold of it even though how long I waited for it can I make sure so he's very implanted this as the podcast has just finished so that was it and then in between before buying that um, I picked up this one so this is the dream dream machine now going back to that back of the box actually ah the back of the box is far better. Cast photo, big cast photo, actual scenes from the movie. Um, so you get the big cast and much there, um, just after the chase, the guy with the fucking violin, and then him driving down with a bad mobile as the music hits. And on the back of that one, you've got the girl, who literally looks like it's one of her profile shots, and him kissing the girl. Um, so back to the teen dream machine. Um, went for red on here. So yeah, um, I guess on this means Lazik Bamboontan, a perfection girl, a perfection or me? Question mark. So I'm guessing that's um, German for um, yeah. Das liegt my teen idol Corey Kem on that one there. But it's red. They've changed the portion to red. Again, the girl. Everything sits the same on the box except for it's the teen dream machine. Um, when you open it up, absolutely fuck all. It does have dream machine embossed on there. Completely blank. Um, again, with it being German, and like a few of my Germans, it's actually physically stuck. So you can't exactly flip that cover out. It's physically stuck to the actual box, um, which is, it's like all the way wrapped around. So it's pretty cool. So it sits on the shelf though, sits the ups way around. You know what I mean? So it's always like upside down. On the back, um, again, completely different scenes. You've got the marshmallow scene at the bottom. Again, these are all just boxed in. None of that badly photoshopped that you get on the British one. Him riding down there, him getting pulled over, him with the girl, which is actually on that one, and him being a bit of a sex pest. That looks like it's still from the movie because it's quite blurry. So that was the three. I'll get her creeping out. No, it's going to be a fucking domino effect. We'll just creep her at the front there. And recently, um, this video is going to have no outtakes. Um, recently, um, 
I made a purchase in another video that by the filming this one isn't out yet. I need to put them stamps back to where they came from. Get in there. I picked up um, something from France. But its orig origins are America. Um, and again, it's really like tracking down the two Corys again. Can't express enough how you used to see this film trail at the fuck on um, Pray the Roll Boys and Fast Getaway again, talking about First Independent over here who would release it to get a hold of them's mental, but to get a hold of a laser disc is even crazier. And what's mental about this laser disc, it's still fucking sealed. So, unlike them, would have been bat and haggard. Pristine condition, perfect girl. I never get that right. I've had four chances of saying that. Perfect car, perfect girl, perfect murder, almost. Corey Hame, Dream Machine. Back to blue. So again, if you're going to be picky, Corey Hame's name's in red on there, but it's actually blue on that. So it's essentially the same thing, but this is the American version of it. And on the back, lovely, absolutely lovely photo. And not just photo, the way it is. And... I don't know if anyone really wants to have a good look into that. That picture is Corey Hame posing as Corey Hame. None of this, you can just see by the, the change in his hair. And that's someone who's really looking at detail. Him kissing the girl and him, the cast photo, are all there. But that's never been opened. Young Barry Davis, Corey Hame, dream a little dream and license to drive, has been handed the keys and a pink slip for a $100,000 Porsche. Approximate run time is 88 minutes. 82 minutes on here. 82 minutes. 82 minutes. That slick sounds like 84 minutes. So, <laughs> so we have a, a little is this a little bit longer. But that might be because you've got to turn the fucking thing over halfway through. Right, so yeah, it's just my rant about Dream Machine. If you want to see an in depth look at Dream Machine, check out Slaunch TV's Dream Machine. They've um, Adan's done a great little video for that when you can get to see bits of the movie but this has never really seen the release it had physical release up to this point but it's never seen the light of day on dvd unless you are getting gypped into a bad transfer that looks like a dvd but as literally someone just literally grabbed and slashed this um i can't see it being released on blu-ray unlike films like prayer the roller boys or i always said if you brought the two fast getaways out together you could probably get away with one edition dream machine doesn't really warrant much extra features or a more of a following unless they were going to do some form of Corey Hame box set again if they bought first independent again in the UK you could see uh, a collection of film and, and Hame films come out but for also not being on Amazon or Netflix and Amazon's the tricky one because Amazon has everything all of it in weird like Demolition University, Voodoo's on there, Fever Lake, Double O Kid. But when it comes to first independent titles, which off the top of my head, when I'm looking over there, are Pretty the Roller Boys, uh, Fast Getaway 1 and 2, uh, Never Too Late, Summer Vacation, Dream Machine. You just, you just don't see them. You just don't see them. Right, for now, I'm in Steve Monkey Mason. There's no extra features, outtakes, or anything like that. Check out Dream Machine if you can watch it. Um, I've just done a podcast, so hopefully these will come out about the same time. I've had fun revisiting it. Check out the trailer online, but when you watch the trailer, be aware that the film is not like the trailer. It's a well-made trailer, but the film's completely different, just in its tone. I think the film, uh, someone on IMDb says it's like zero out of, one out of ten for acting is terrible and stuff like that. It's not too bad. Um, it looks like three quarters of this movie's been on night shoots. Um... It's got some mental things. It's got a catchy theme tune. Um, it's one of him's better movies. But for now, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. And now.